Hey guys, today I want to show you how to create this hard surface model with Blender. I'm using my fast carve add-on and snapping two faces. This is Blender 2.79 and I start here with the cube and scale it. I press S and then Y to scale along the Y axis and then I switch to face selection and move this down a bit. Okay, then I switch to edge selection and bring this edge here down and then I press the A key to select all and again scale it along the Y axis. So this is the basic shape, now I select these edges here at the front and press Ctrl and B to bevel them. Then scroll the mouse wheel to add more segments. It's a bit too large along the Y axis in my opinion, so I press S and Y to scale it down. That's better and now I do the same thing for the back part. Again beveling and add more segments. And now comes the tricky part, I want to cut with a cylinder into this object. I want to cut a hole, but I want it to be perpendicular to the top face. So first add a cylinder and scale it down. And then I want to rotate it, so that it aligns to the top face. So I snap the view to right auto and set the snap element to face. After that, I enable Align Rotation with the Snapping Target. And now you enable snapping either by selecting this button or pressing the Ctrl key. And when I hover then over this face, you can see that the rotation of the object is aligning to this face. And this is what I was going for, but the next thing that I want to do is to move this object along this rotation angle. And this is also pretty easy, you just set the transform orientation from global to local. And then you can move it like this. Ok, but now the cutting part. I scale the object up, along the set axis, press S and then the set key two times. Then I switch to edit mode, add an edge loop by pressing Ctrl and R. And then I select the edge at the top and increase the scale. Ok, with this shape I want to cut into the object and for this I'm using my fast carve add-on. If you don't know the add-on, it's free and I added the download link to the description below. So I select the fast carve tab, as target I choose the main object, then I select the object that I want to use as cutter and just press the difference button. Now you can see the result as a live boolean. And you can adjust the position or the size of the cutter if you like. And once you're happy with it, you can press apply boolean. Alright, this was the first cut, now I move the object to the front, scale it a bit down and again execute a difference operation. So that looks good, now I apply the boolean. Ok, we are almost done, the only thing I have to do now is to bevel the object to make it look more crisp and clean. Then I adjust the width of the bevel and we are done. If you like, you can add a matte cap and it looks like this. So guys, this was again a short modeling tip, I really hope you like it and if you do then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me and help the channel grow then think about being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.